Good afternoon everybody, how you all doing? Hope you're doing well, hope you're doing better than me. More awake than I am. I'm tired, so this will be interesting. Stream. I'll do my best. I've got the other guys to carry me as always. I can hardly get a word in with being around, so it's nice. Don't have to do much work. But um yeah. Could get to sleep last night, so I'm feeling it now after lunch as well, so Anyway, we're back here, Farming Simulator 22 with the Monopoly competition. It's a very close competition between three of us, uh, the winners, Miles Ed, so at least it's close somewhere. And speaking of the three of us, that would be uh, DJ Smudo and Pedro here with us. Hopefully Pedro is back, but how are you guys? Is he off to? No, 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 don't do that. Look, I'm pressing the stop button. Having slight issues with my course play. It's doing its job. Oh, it's done it again, it's gone to the... Hang on. No, that is down. Right, from there I should do it. There we go. I set it up on the other side and it just decided to go to the end and reverse back and stop. Now if I remember rightly, I've got this contract only, even though there's two up there, but one of them is another potato field. But when I emptied the potatoes out, of course, it accounted for this field. So I'm stuck on this until I'm able to deliver the potatoes for all the field 45. Ah, <laughs> no, 25, so I was looking at 45%. Field 25. I'm surprised you had to ask. Yeah, it is actually good. That's a good point. Yeah, it is a good point, actually. And it's probably something they never thought of. I don't know if anyone's mentioned it, whether or not they would have done something about it. Or if they can do something about it. Well, I suppose the best one, the easiest way is to tell it to say, right, look for the one that's had the most percentage done. And then take it from that one, because that's the most logical thing, like Field 27 is my other one which I've completely finished, it's at 80%. So in this circumstance it goes right, Field 25 is picked first, but Field 27, 80% of it's done. So when the potatoes are delivered, we'll add it to Field 27. Well, I'm assuming it's that because I picked field 25 before I did field 27, but hang on, no, actually, 
I picked 25 first off because that's where I leased everything and then I picked that other field which I finished last week and that did it fine, so you're right. That's random. Oh, you're also right about Stevie's potato harvesters, by the way. I didn't, when I tested it, I used the easy development controls. And I selected potatoes really to be harvest. But it didn't bring up the foliage on top, so I went back in and did it again and saw I brought the foliage back up and it doesn't cut the foliage. So, um, hopefully Mr. Daxuli will be around and I might be able to mention it to him so he can mention it to Stevie. And Stevie will be able to fix it. Yeah. Oh. oh, yeah. Yeah. No, well, the models do miss things. And I'm guessing not a lot of people use this potato stuff because someone would have mentioned it for sure. Yeah, well that's what I mean. I was about to clarify that. I'm not saying that people don't like his potato mods. It's like more that people who downloaded mods obviously don't do potatoes. Yeah, not much. And it's expensive. Yeah, it's it's expensive to start up. You've got the harvest of it, you also gotta prune the grapes and you've got to mulch the ground and it just you need a lot of vines to make a decent amount of money, which takes a lot of time. And some people do it, some people don't. I don't like the fact you can't store grapes. I don't like that. That was a turn off. But, um, yeah. Yeah, but there, there lies another problem. You can't store the grain. If you want to store it in the game, which obviously they'll last forever, You've got to buy a lot of those small trailers because there's no big trailers that'll take them. And it's a pain in the backside because you can't, you know, you fill the factory up and it only takes a certain amount and then you've got to find a place to keep all those. So you've got to buy a lot of those trailers if you want a big production. Then you're only limited to making a certain amount of money at a certain amount of time because it only holds so much. And with all the other work that goes on, I mean, yes, course play, you can use course play to mulch the field, fertilizer and prune it, not mulch the field. Um, and also harvest. And yes, yeah, Stevie's got um, grape harvester and all of us are har harvester on it, but with the extra capacity. Oh yeah, you're probably right, I think it is just the olives. No, because it skips. Yep, it skips rows. Because the fertilizer will two two vines at a time, so it skips rows. Yeah, 
ist das Sandcastle? Let's stop picking potatoes up, my harvester. Just stopped. Nope. Now it's picking it up. Well, I thought it might have been a sink issue, so I let it go for a while and then. Uh, yeah, no such luck. So I just reversed down and started again. Now it's picking it up. Well, that's weird. Yeah, anyway, I might do grapes again, I mean I got rid of my save because I was having issues constantly. One thing I don't like about the grapes is it's hard to get a straight line. Yeah, it, that, that's annoying as well, but I, I mean, that's probably why Stevie hasn't done one, because the capacity with the options of um, trailers you've got would be pointless. You're always going to have grape in your harvester. No, nope. no, nope, they don't. Unless he's up in the last updates he's added in, but when I was doing grapes... Um, there was absolutely nothing of his that took grapes to take olives, but nothing uh, to do with grapes as far as I could see. And yeah, there's no mention of grapes here. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, well, maybe they realise that no one's using it, so why bother? I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I know, but... No. I think it's like everything else, like precision farming and everything like that. It's a novelty that wears off. Because after a while you get sick of doing all the work, you think, yeah, no, I'll do this, I'll do all this and everything else. But at a certain point, it gets a bit mundane. We, you're doing other harvesting jobs and the harvest is over, you're done, and then you move on to the next thing, which is either ploughing or cultivating or seeding, and then you fertilise and, and you can add different crops and all sorts of stuff through the vines. It's just plonk them down, spend millions of dollars to put them down, and yeah, trying to get them into a straight line so you can use a GPS if you want to. Yeah, 
Yeah, which uh, uh, defeats the point, uh, purpose. I mean, I don't mind the expensive cost. As long as you get the return in, in with it, but it, it's just, you sit there and go, why? You know? And if, you, if you're selling to a winery, then you're gonna, they were gonna need a lot of grapes, a lot of different wineries and stuff like that if they had the options and a lot more places to sell it and all that kind of stuff, that would be good too because then you could have a big vineyard and then you wouldn't need to worry about storing them if you can get rid of a whole pile of them. Why aren't you empty now? I'm having issues here. This doesn't want to empty out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's what I had, okay. and the reason I wanted that, the GPS, is because when I was trying to harvest them, I would, it's hard to, to see and keep it in line as it is. So, now I'm having problems with course play here, course play just turned itself off again. It, filled, it got to full stopped popped out the pipe and I went to unload it and um, it wouldn't unload because the engine was off because um, course base stopped itself. Right, so I've got room for 15,000, that holds 20,000, I might as well go to look at this. No, because that's a standard thing. Oh, here we go. Half an hour to get into the cab view. Meanwhile, while I was waiting to get into cab view, I just about ran into a power pole. Whoa. Yeah, there is, isn't there? I'm just checking the frame rate. No, it'll be re because reloading all the textures and everything, which happens after an update. And that's why so it's not really lag; it's just frame rate drops because it's trying to reload the textures. I drop right down to about one frame, <laughs> so it's it's dropping down to lot um, twenty and then back up to sixty really quick as it's trying to recache. Yeah, I'm sitting on well almost sixty. Well, I'm not mainly about the frames, I'm just saying that because of the drop of frames down to 20 or uh, at one point down to in the red, it's because it's reloading the thing, so it'll get better as, you know, you go around the map and recaches everything. So. I wouldn't care about 30 frames per second on a game like this. When it comes to first person shooters, that's a different story, but... No, no one complained about watching TV at 30 frames per second. No one ever does that, so... Sorry about that. Uh, actually, hopefully the Discord is coming through. I uh, just realised that. Um, I'll get back to the field and then I'll check the the levels, make sure it's coming through. 
They should do, it should be coming through. As I say, problems on Thursday, but that was because I had an option on OBS uh, turned on that shouldn't have been, and I had Mr. Causey with me on the convoy streams, and he was chatting away, which was really good because he was carrying me for the first part of Thursday because I had a heck of a toothache. Well, I say tooth, it was actually more than one. And it started moving across my mouth as well for a while, so I wasn't saying much. And then um, it was only lucky that um, someone asked, uh, is someone with me because I'm, oh, or am I talking to myself? And I've spent a while to figure it out. And for some reason, I had uh, something turned off that I shouldn't have. So, but uh, I'll just check the levels if someone can say something, just so I can see it's coming in at least through OBS. No, no, it's not coming through. Now it's coming through. There we go. I was actually going to check it before we started, but I forgot. No, that's the first then. You never forget things. Uh, and I need to scroll that back up. Hospital. But yeah. Well, hopefully it is coming through the stream though, because even though, like I said, I had I had the problem with uh, on Thursday with the convi mode, but it was actually showing up on my um, OBS is coming through. But it should come through because um, on OBS and your scenes, there's a uh, icon there where you can click on it and it'll turn certain scenes off so basically I, I can like with Patreon or oh, actually I'll give you an example so you've got Patreon's B up on the screen if I press the button which I can do it on my phone he disappears and then I press it again his feed should come back and um, that was set up for Discord for some reason even though it didn't need to be because it's, it's generally for you want to use it for things that um, that are on screen that you can see if you want to hide that. So I don't know why it was like that at all. And that was the reason why nobody could hear him, even though I thought it was coming through fine because my OBS level said it was picking Discord up. Right, he stopped. Is he gonna actually unload? He unloaded the first time, it's just the second time he didn't like it and then he's done it it's done it again. Yeah. That's, I've never had that before. I'm going to check to see if there's an option, because I did upload, update course play, but they... wasn't that much of an update. They turned something off, sensors off. That's what they turned sensors off for something to do with the grapes. So everything else should be the same. Raise tools like low early. Um... I can't see anything as to why it would stop itself.
shooting at it. Nothing for sale. Well, this is concerning. I'm just looking at the screen and I can see, well, obviously Smeta was here running around, which means he's got nothing to do. Which means all the contracts have been done, and there was a lot of them. Yeah, there were most of them done last week. Yeah, but until uh, DJ has finished his potato field, he stays. I'm the... only doing the one on 72, so... I know, but you still have a bit to go. Yeah, but uh, a lot, a lot Patreon, less than Patreon me. Looks, Patreon looks uh, like he's done too. So, for yeah. now it's a tie, yeah. uh, so you're safe from skipping until DJ finishes his stuff. Yeah, but he'll be finished before me and that's the problem. Yeah, you will. That is true. <sighs> I can't even do anything on my hand, which is annoying. If we were months later into the year, I could start planting my stuff. Well, I'm still struggling with the, my strategy. Yeah, I don't think even think my strategy is going to work anymore. Well, I, I've actually got high hopes with my strategy. The problem is there's two things I need straight away. Actually, there's more than that, Three. but um, two things that I need straight away. But I don't know which one to get first. Because they're both a little bit of money. I don't know which one will bring in the money quicker. Ah, uh, okay. It's about to say. The option. I would take the one that, like DJ said, the Infinity Monsters production thing. Take that one first, so... And if you... Is, are, are there two things dependent on one another? Is one so, producing stuff for the other? That's a secret. I well, can tell you this: okay. one of them, one of them. Uh, if I buy one of them, then uh, the next thing to actually be able to utilise it will require a bit of a bank loan, which will also hinder me on getting the next thing because both things I need require money. <laughs> the most thing, the most without things a loan. I need money. <laughs> without without a loan. I can tell you this, combine the two things I need, roughly about over two million dollars. Damn! That's a lot of money. That includes all the equipment needed for it, I'm guessing. No. What? No, it's just the two bits of uh, property, shall I just call it. That I would like to have to be mm. able to utilize my strategy. I may need probably a little bit of a booster shot to get anywhere that I need to do. Because Pe uh, Pedro and Smith don't know what I want to do, but <laughs> I'm a bit far behind with that. We'll keep yeah, going because you, you never know where you end up. So you never give up. Mate. It's not over until it's over. Mm. It's That's you know, it. but it will be over if you've decided it's over before it's actually over. It's not. It's not that I'm thinking it's over. It's more or less trying to strategize what I need to do first. Well, yeah. what do you th what do you think takes the longest to produce? <laughs> Uh, for you, for you to use it in the end, at the end of the chain. 
Well, you, 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 want to make you, case, could, you right? could already answer that question by answering said question. Already, what I'm wanting to do. Um, hey, you wanted to do cakes, right? No, I don't no. Know. been that idea. Oh, right. Uh, no, I wanted to do uh, milk. So dairy products. Dairy, dairy products, yeah. Well, then obviously you need the cows first. Yeah, exactly. So you have an easy start when you need the cows first. Because they, if you want to buy them cheap, they take a few months to even start producing milk. Yeah, exactly. And e e yeah. even if you, if you don't buy the, uh, the cheap and buy the grown up cows, uh, they need at least a few months to produce enough to start. To start. Making production worldwide. Yeah. Well, I had two of the big ones, the 240. No, actually, I had one small one. Well, I had. I'll say that. I had one of the 80 capacity ones, and I had a 240 capacity cow one. Oh, I have on my, mm. one of my slaves from CB1, and I'm using the dairy there. And uh, that's just producing butter, I think. It's a good amount, but yeah, you need a lot of milk. Yeah, but, That's but not, not that much. I, ha I, ha I, ha I had uh, the biggest in-game cow barn, and I could uh, keep two uh, dairies. I bought the one on the map and built one myself. Uh, and had enough, uh, had enough milk stuff there for my bakery to produce cakes, so... One big cow barn is enough. You, can, you never, have, you will never be able to fill up the, the tank at the dairy to the fullest. That's for sure. But you will be able yeah. to keep them running. You will be able to keep them running. Well, once you have the, the largest cow barn, the, the Indian one, completely full, if you have more, then it's going to be a little bit easier. Obviously. Well, yeah, so that's the only thing. Um, you, need to... about, you need about 100 cows, is what I'm saying. Yeah. Or a to work. Oh, you need more than that. If I you... just said I had a 240 and an 80. Yeah, but like I just said, I have. I just had the, the 81 and I had enough milk to keep two dairy factories running one for cheese and one for chocolate. No, oh, I don't. Well, then maybe. Uh... Stevie uh, switched the production part. I don't know. I had them running non-stop, and I, ha I always have enough milk. I didn't, don't even, or very rarely get the three-day warning at the top of the the screen for the from the production info thingy. So. Well, I don't know if it was Stevie because the other one's not Stevie's. The one that's on his map is Stevie's, but but. I don't know no. what the difference is, but the other one is an in-game mod one by someone else, but even with Stevie's mm. one on its own, I keep running out of milk in the dairy. I wasn't producing enough. I mean, I was producing like three or four thousand litres of milk. Yeah, I, I have a lot of By the time I'd run out. Up. So I was constantly chewing through that. Yeah, you can consistently keep it going, but it's running back okay. and forth. And then you got to oh, wait for the heaps of butter to be made with it, because butter was well, I couldn't do chocolate because I didn't have any sugar production. It's, that is that is very weird though, because um, I had the uh, I have both dairies dairy factories at around fifteen thousand liters of milk. And yeah, and produce and pro pro produce enough. To keep them at that level, or around at least 10,000 liters of milk, to keep them at that level all the time with the few cows I have. And I only feed them TMR, and that's it. So I'm not doing anything yeah. special. What economy you are? Mind you, this shouldn't make a difference, oh. it's just the price.